An alarming warning from scientists this morning. Global warming is happening much faster than expected. CBS News science and technology correspondent Daniel Seberg has the story. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning, Maggie. Yes, a dire new warning from scientists says the amount of greenhouse gas emissions worldwide is higher than predicted, mostly from places like India and China. That's leading to warmer temperatures and more extreme conditions all over the planet. For years, scientists have known Greenland's glaciers were melting and the seasonal sheet of ice covering the Arctic had been shrinking. But the thaw is literally just the tip of the iceberg. The Arctic is that early warning system. It's that canary in the coal mine. The Arctic is leading the way in terms of climate change, but the rest of the planet is following. Animation from NASA shows the recession of sea ice in the Arctic since 1979. This decrease, scientists say, will in turn lead to higher temperatures. Sea ice is really reflective. When it retreats, then instead of that highly reflective surface there bouncing back solar radiation back to outer space, solar radiation comes in and gets absorbed in the oceans. Think of ice melting in the Arctic like the ice in this glass. If it's already in the water, like sea ice, when it melts, it doesn't overflow. But when you add more ice to it, like from a glacier, well, you can see the problem. From ice to fire, scientists say those higher temperatures are fueling the intensity of wildfires, now raging in places like Australia. And the burned vegetation then releases large amounts of carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. We're not talking about extinction of the human species here, but we are talking about a rough road ahead of us uh, in terms of, say, economic disruption through sea level rise, uh, surprise changes, say, in weather patterns associated with climate warming. Now, scientists say this global warming is part of a vicious cycle, each changing ecosystem affecting the other and made worse by human activities. For environmentalists and many others, it's a cycle that needs to be broken, and soon. Maggie? Mm, tall order. Daniel Seberg, thanks, Daniel.